So, now that we have got some elevation curves, we are ready to create a terrain out of them. So we're gonna run the terrain command for it. So the insert uh, dialog appears, and here we see two different options to create a terrain. One is using the algorithm Deloney triangulation, and another option is to use the this gridded surface shape to triangulate. But we will check it afterwards. So we need to define a base height, so zero dot to its its height. Click OK, and now we need to pick those curves or points also that we uh, need for creating the terrain. So let's choose these curves that we elevated in the previous chapter and hit enter. So the terrain is created. Let's put this in shadow display mode to appreciate it. Now, when the terrain has been created, we can edit its properties from the land design edit panel. We select the terrain and we see here under the terrain tab the same uh, options that we had in the insert dialog. So we can now choose this uh, grid surface shape to triangulation option to have a better control of the terrain precision. So we can here change the, the cell size, let's say uh, 5 meter, or we can uh, uncheck the simplify button in order to generate a more accurate mesh for the, for the terrain. We can also edit terrains from its control points, which we can activate from here. And its control points are basically the same as the control points of the curves used to generate it. We can see all the information, all the input data used for generating the terrain under the input data tab. And here we can see the list of all the curves used to generate the terrain. We could eventually select any of these curves and remove it, and the terrain will be recalculated. Or we can uncheck the control points in order that we don't see the control points on that specific curve when we activate the control points on the terrain. Terrains have a different representation in 2D and 3D according to this uh, 2D and 3D display uh, status. So first of all, if we hide uh, the elevation curves that we use it for the terrain, here they are, we can now activate the 2D display option to see the terrain in 2D. And we see uh, the contour lines. If we select the terrain, we can control the settings of these contour lines for example, uh, decide the number, the total number of contours, or choose the distance among the contours. So let's say 0.2. And we can uh, put the view back to 3D. 